that if we travel to a different country, we always seek information as much as we can. For example, places to visit, transportation, foods, culture, and of course, the people. As we all know that Philippines is one of the most popular tourist destinations and a lot of people are interested to travel there. For those people who are seeking information about the Philippines, this video is right for you. As a Filipino, there are certain things that we consider normal that might be add to some other countries. I would like to share about aspects that might shock you when you travel to the Philippines without knowing the oddities. So let's start. Number one, when it comes to drinking, we don't drink without putting an ice in our beer and pass around one glass among the several people. We usually prepare a jug and fill it with a mix of alcohol and juices and also we don't drink without eating our meals meals yet because we believe in pasmo or in tagalog word pasma which basically means that we will get sick from not eating our meals before consuming cold drinks or food but once we start drinking we go all out especially to strong beers like red horse and also there are three things that are important in filipino drinking Without these three, we don't drink at all. Number one is tanguero. Number two, pulutan or chaser. Number three, ice. Now, let's talk about tanguero. Tanguero refers to the person who's responsible in pouring out drinks and ensuring that everyone's glass is topped up. Also, they often lead the drinking session lively and they are very responsible to make the drinking session going. Pulutan or chaser, usually we prepare some viands or some chips that we might find in our kitchens and those three things are very important for us. Number two, another thing that might catch foreigners off guard about our culture is the expectations of cash donations, especially to people you hardly know. Sometimes we get requests for donations for the funerals from a distant relatives or acquaintances and we also have this wedding scenario that will get invited but then later you realize that you are expected to be a sponsor which basically means that you are supposed to give a substantial donation to the bride and groom. Sometimes this kind of thing in the Philippines is very surprising for especially for for the foreigners there might be instances especially if you're married to a filipina expect that there will be a relative or a neighbor who will invite you to their wedding and you will be one of the sponsors number three is the prevalence of skin whitening products it isn't common for you to find moisturizers soaps or deodorants without any whitening ingredients it is because of our beauty standard that if you have a lighter skin which means you are handsome and pretty compared to those filipinos who have a brown skin those people who have lighter skin can get better opportunities to compare to those people who have a darker skin number four when it comes to cutlery you'll often find spoons and forks especially the plastic ones are the go-to utensils in the philippines i think it's because our meals involve with soups and sauces not to mention the rice that are almost always served however at more um, international restaurants they actually offer you or serve you with spoon fork and knife but for those locals are usually skillfully using their spoon even for cutting chicken or pork dishes number five when it comes to rubbish despite of our pride in our country's beauty we have this widespread attitude of someone will clean it up it's also common for people of dropping containers and wrappers after they're done using with it. Sadly, a lot of those things, especially to beautiful places, there are a lot of rubbish everywhere. However, nowadays, since a lot of people are already aware of environmental concerns, there are a lot of places as well that they advocate of recycling our wastes and doing waste management. 
Number six, this is very funny. You know one thing about us Filipinos is that we can sleep literally anywhere. Example, at our desk, in front of a loudspeaker, or even next to a busy road. We also have this kind of culture of sleeping every afternoon. As you notice that foreigners might think that we Filipinos are maybe lazy or are sleepy all the time because we are always sleeping sometimes during traveling instead of our car, we're just sleeping. It's because we have this kind of culture that since we were younger, since we were a child, we were taught by our parents to sleep in the afternoon as well as together with our family. Seven, this is quite different. And I think those, this is one of the things that you can only see in Asia or especially in the Philippines. When it comes to driving, some of us have this kind of habit of driving diagonally across the road or even on the wrong side just to make a right turn. So we Filipinos, we are used to cutting corners. Number eight, our local public transport can be a quiet an experience for foreign drivers. The way jeepneys, taxis, trike drives without any indication can really freak out foreign drivers. We Filipinos, we will just pull out, pull over, or make a U-turn like we own the road. And don't get me started on the lack of basic safety features and how many drivers don't even know the common road signs. Number nine, crossing the road in the Philippines is a whole different story. We tend to do it about five meters away from the pedestrian crossings. We walk diagonally instead of straight across. And sometimes we even cross when the pedestrian lights turn red and rush as the vehicle starts moving. So those traffic lights and road signs in the Philippines are just optional for us Filipinos. We don't follow it and we don't respect it. Number 10, one thing about us Filipinos is that we seem to accept dangerous hazards as part of our everyday life. Massive holes in the roads and pavements, protruding pieces of ironwork and wires hanging from a pylon at head height are just everywhere. But sadly, um, these things are considered normal. If you fall, walk into it, or get caught by one of these hazards, don't expect that someone will take responsibility and compensate you with it. Unless, of course, you happen to be someone local, rich, and influential. Things there in the Philippines are actually quite opposite from how things work in the West where there's a blame, there's a claim. Number 11, it's quite common for us Filipinos to end up paying things that should be free, either because it's part of the service or funded by our taxes. From small things like paying fixers to help us sort out our documents like driving license, though thankfully this is reducing nowadays, down to more serious situations like having to pay the fire brigade before they will tackle a burning business and even sometimes our justice comes at a cost. Number 12, another thing about us Filipinos is the ability to sit around doing nothing for hours on an end. If you will be traveling to the Philippines, you can see a lot of Filipinos just sitting in the corners doing nothing. That's really how crazy we Filipinos are. Number 13, doing things quietly and alone is something unheard of for us. We are naturally sociable and love in big groups, whether it's family, friends, and sometimes even we love wearing matching clothes and uniforms. And speaking of being sociable, we are not afraid to be noisy and animated when we are with our friends. By the way, my name is Gwen. I am a Filipina, but I'm currently living right now in Europe with my Czech husband. We are making our YouTube channel to share information, culture, and experiences together. Number 14, blurred understanding of the difference between superstitions and myths versus proven science and facts, sharing fake information, absence and shaded, witchcrafts and spells can all be taken very seriously. <laughs> And disclosing secrets and gossips can be a very good conversational matter in the Philippines. Number 15, strangers will often help out willingly with a little care for their time. And maybe that's also one of the best part of being Filipino. We are very helpful even to our locals or with our neighbors or even to strangers to other people. We're always there willing to help in everything you ask for.
Number 16, religion having such a strong influence in our daily lives. As we all know that 84% of the population in the Philippines are Christians. We celebrate at least 23,000 festivals to honor God. We usually affect in our daily lives because we believe in God and also we find comfort in our religion peace as well as moral support. Next, 17. Most of those things that I've heard from the foreigners who visited the Philippines is that they said Filipinos are smiling all the time. I think the main reason why we are smiling all the time is because it became a natural reaction for us in every kind of situation, even the awkward ones. For example, someone close to you passed away but when when they greet you, they're always having smiles on their faces like condolences and that's it. Like, you know, those are very awkward and still they're smiling. And that's really the crazy part of being a Filipino. Okay, 18. Very poor customer service. In the Philippines, the utility and service providers are often terrible. There, it is normal to experience the following. Number one, a few words is said and then the lines goes dead. Second, promises to call you back are made but never happen. Third, you are told that a technician will call but they don't or sometimes they don't call but they will show up unexpectedly. Number four, the last one, you have no service for months even after repeatedly bringing up the matter. I even experienced it in the Philippines up until now even after five years ago, still the same. Especially, it's very common for internet or service providers. So, we have this uh, PLDT, if you know that company, they're providing services, internet services in the Philippines and experience before. I was still working in customer service way back then. I was calling them maybe almost every day to fix our internet. It's very slow and imagine we're paying 3000 per month but they're just giving you promises and we'll fix it. A technician will come there to check it but up until now nothing happens. You have no service for months even after repeatedly bringing up the matter. You are charged for nothing and still complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19 is actually quite funny. It is having children of 3 or 4 by the time that you are 25 years old. Maybe it's because a lot of people are getting married early and we also have this kind of mindset that we should have kids or we should be married at before 30 years old because giving birth at the age of 30 is like already struggling for women and it's also very crazy that our parents and our aunts or maybe relatives are also giving us advices that we should be married before 30 and we should already be having before 30 and that's also the reason why a lot are having three or four children by the time that we are 25 and by the way i'm actually 26 already i don't have kids yet but some of my friends already have at least three kids already that is very common in my country number 20 you'll often find some gays wearing women's clothing and also because Philippines has a great support for our LGBT community. We believe that they are contributing a lot for our country and even we have this LGBT community month wherein they have the government is funding them to celebrate of who they are wearing costumes and giving them organizing events for these people 21 it is something that Chaco was very surprised when he saw it for the first time in the philippines it is when mechanics often don't see the need to use all the boats that came out they don't even retie cables properly and are not even bothered to use grease and loctite. Sometimes they will just attach wires with a twist and a bit of a tape and that works in the Philippines. Next, 22. This is also the thing about us. We have a lot of instruction manuals at home when we buy things and are still unread and we just left it in our bag or maybe throwing it out in the garbage. And it's so crazy that you can find stickers in our TVs, in our toasters, in our ovens, or maybe in our stereo machines. They are still proudly attached five years after purchase. And these things are very common in the Philippines. 23. Many businesses companies are using Facebook, Messenger, and Viber as a primary medium communication. You may also find many companies' information online that are wrong and, and has not been updated since 2014. Primary mode of communication over phone and emails. You may also find companies' information online that are wrong and has not been updated since 2014. 24. Now let's talk about time and punctuality. It's very common for us Filipinos that we are always late and especially that, for example, we have gathering with friends and we decided to meet up at 9 p.m. 
expect that Filipinos are always late. We will always arrive after one hour and we will keep telling you that I'm on the way but that true is on the way means or we are still on bed. Number 25, I know that this is also common in other e Southeast Asia but since um, it's also surprising for foreigners that we have a lot of motorbikes in the Philippines, these motorbikes are also a mode of transportation in the Philippines. There are places in the Philippines, especially in the provinces that doesn't have jeepneys, especially in the mountainous regions. So we have these motorbikes as our mode of transportation. We usually have this and we always pay the motorbike drivers with us. And we are riding with more than four people, five people in one motorbike. That's also one of the most unique thing about the Philippines. So that's all for today's video. I hope it is informative for you guys, especially for those people who are traveling in the Philippines in the future. I'm very glad that I was able to share something about my country. And for those people who are new in this channel, by the way, my name is Gwen. I'm a Filipina currently living in Europe right now with my Czech husband. We are making videos in our channel, sharing experiences, cultures, and anything about Czechia and the Philippines. Thank you so much as well, guys, for your love and support. And of course, if you like this video, you may hit the like and subscribe button. See you again next time. Bye!